Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we're talking about why does the altitude of an isosceles triangle cut two right triangles, two congruent right triangles, I should say. So let's construct, it's, it's pretty easy, so it shouldn't take too long. Let's construct our isosceles triangle, something like that. I'm a very bad artist, so excuse me for all of my sketches on this channel. So it's an isosceles triangle, so we're going to have this side congruent to this side. I might as well label this A, B, and C. So side A, B is congruent to side A, C. And then we're going to drop the altitude. Um, from, and of course, when we're talking about the altitude of an isosceles triangle, cutting two congruent triangles, um, we're talking about the altitude that has a vertex adjacent to the two congruent sides. So this one here. So the altitude goes from A down to side BC and is perpendicular to this side. And it's perpendicular over here as well. I'm not going to bother writing that in because it looks gross. Of course, they don't look congruent because I've done a, a poor job sketching it. But now we know that this triangle, AB, we're going to call this point P. So now, and this is not to scale, of course, PAB this right triangle that we've just cut, we're just shifting it over here, is congruent to triangle, so triangle ABP congruent to triangle ACP. And why is that? Well, we know that this side is congruent to this side um, because it's an isosceles triangle, that's how we drew it. AB is congruent to AC. And we know that this side right here, AP, is congruent to this side because this side is AP. So that's, uh, you know, the reflexive property. It's congruent to itself. And so then just like that, we've got the hypotenuse leg theorem um, for right triangles giving us congruency. So then we get that triangle, I'll write this out in black, triangle ABP by hypotenuse leg is congruent to triangle ACP. So it's pretty simple. So the altitude of an isosceles triangle that is adjacent to, or that has a vertex adjacent to the two congruent sides cuts that isosceles triangle into two congruent right triangles, which we see here. And that's by hypotenuse by the hypotenuse leg theorem, which says that for any two right triangles, um, if they have a congruent hypotenuse and congruent legs, uh, just one, you know, w one set of congruent legs, then the triangles themselves are congruent. We see our hypotenuse AB congruent to hypotenuse AC, and then they have the same exact leg of AP. So. The HL theorem gets us the congruency. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or would like any particular videos done. I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases.